Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Victor. Good morning from Barcelona, Catalonia, Spain. Today I'm back here in San Estacio railway station. So right now I am on my way to Vitoria Castell, which is the capital city of the Basque country, which is a northern region in Spain. So I didn't know that my train, it is until 9.30 and I came like one hour and a half before because they thought it was at 8.30. So, in any case, I have to wait here for that time and in the meantime, I'm going to have a nice coffee. Let me tell you something, uh, prior to traveling, I really recommend you bringing a sandwich from a different place or from your own house because it is really overpriced here. I've seen that a tiny ham sandwich costs 12 euros. I mean, what? So guys, I'm going to be traveling on the Spanish high-speed train, which is El Ave, which is translated as the bird in English. And um, I need to go to coach number 17. And um, I can see coach number 10, so I need to just hurry up. Can you believe that this train is going to the very north of Spain? It's going to Vigo, which is um, Galicia. Here we go guys, we are going on a new adventure. This is going to be an amazing experience. There is something I really like about traveling by train throughout Spain. And it is the fact that the country is so varied. It means that you can go from one place to another and the landscapes would be completely different. When we were getting nearer to Vitoria Gasteiz, I realized that in the outskirts of Vitoria there were so many buildings similar to the ones in Moscow. So guys, we finally got to Vitoria after four hours and a half. I feel so knackered, but not just that. I'm so hungry, I really want to go and check in in my hotel and I really want to go and get a nice fast lunch. Let's see what they can do. The first thing I would like to say is that the train station is beautiful. I love the white colour mixed with the blue. Just like, it's really gorgeous. So I just got to my hotel is this one over here so guys right now i am on my way to a very good restaurant which i really like let's see if i can have lunch there i'm talking about goiko they prepare these amazing and tasty burgers and they are just to die for Welcome everyone to Goiko Grill. This is the place where your dreams can come true. I'm joking. What you can really get is the burger of your dreams. In my case, I like to come here to get my sweet plantain burger, which is something I adore and love. You need to come and try it. So, bon appétit pour moi. guys that was like so tasty so right now i'm going to go just for a walk around the city to see what it's like the architecture here is so different to southern spain i really do not know which part of the country i prefer i mean i like this weather but um, i really like andalusia a lot I have to say that this city is like everything except from the typical stereotype of like Spain, you know, like little white houses, like olive trees everywhere. I mean, it's so different to that stereotype. It's like everything the opposite. I have to say that in Spain we have the immense luck to have a country made up by many countries. This because all regions used to be independent kingdoms before 1492. 
Therefore, traveling around Spain feels like traveling through different countries at the same time. According to internet, Vitoria Castate is one of the cities with a major number of parks per capita in the whole of Spain. That's why they call it um, the green capital of northern Spain. And um, obviously you can't really tell now because it is the end of autumn, it's about to be winter and uh, the trees lost all their leaves so that's why you can't really tell but um, it should be green in spring and summer. There is another incredible fact which is even more obvious and that's the wealth of this part of the country. This region has the second highest per capita in Spain, being only second to Madrid. In other words, the Basque enjoy the same high lifestyle like Northern Europeans do. I cannot believe how much I've seen on my first day here in Vitoria. Tomorrow I will definitely have an incredible day in the Basque capital. Hello guys, good morning. Today is my second day here. So yesterday I just went for a simple walk, you know, just to see the area, but I didn't go to the old town because I wanted to leave that for today so uh, right now I, I suppose that it's time to go and grab a nice breakfast because it is 9 a.m. in the morning I didn't want to come out too early because it's rather dark and if you can see the sky is about to rain so today I'm getting French Brittany vibes I really like to see rainy and cloudy mornings just like this one. I know that the majority of people would like to see the opposite, but um, I like it like that. However, for breakfast today I'm going to have a butter croissant and a cappuccino. So I just came out to the cafe and it was raining already. So today is going to be a really wet day. Just really hope that I can see as many places as possible. And um, right now I'm going to go and see the first one, which is like a very beautiful site in the city. And I'm talking about the Santa Maria Cathedral. Right now, I would like to take you all with me to the Cathedral of Maria Immaculada de Vitoria also known as Maria Sorseth Carpiaren Catedrala in the Basque language. This is the main neo-Gothic building in Vitoria Gasteiz. Its construction began in the year 1904 and it was finally opened in the year 1969. The temple has a Latin cross plan with five naves, ivory and a crypt. It also contains highly valuable sculptures, most of them in the crypt. I don't know why, but I'm getting flashbacks. I kind of feel in Cambridge or in Oxford. I suppose that is due to the weather and this amazing Gothic cathedral. Now it's time to step into the cathedral. You would not believe what this amazing interior reminds me of. It's so similar to the church where Fiona and Lord Farquaad were going to get married. Have you seen that part in the film Shrek? So right now I'm going to take you to Florida and I'm not talking about the American state I'm talking about the park which is situated uh, in front of the cathedral 
and I've heard that they've got like a very beautiful Christmas uh, manger. So let's go and see if we can find it. This is without any doubt the biggest and most beautiful Christmas manger I've seen in all my life. I feel like a kid once again walking around here, listening to the amazing Christmas music. So we are finally going towards the old town, the Almond, as they call it, because the shape of, of this um, old town, uh, it's been like that um, dating 8th centuries back, you know, uh, and uh, since like they designed this place, it's remained like this, you know, like it hasn't changed much. So the first thing that we can see here when we go like into the old town is the monument to the victory uh, of the battle here in Vittoria uh, against the French. So this is basically to commemorate the victory of the Spanish, Portuguese and English army that uh, defeated the French. And uh, yeah, because as you know, France once wanted to, you know, like um, somehow colonize or like conquer Spain. So we didn't let them do that. And they got what they deserved. Now I would like to share with you some interesting information about the Basque country and its people. They speak a language called Euskera, which is not related to any Indo-European language. Plus, according to the Irish Times, Galicians and the Basque are the closest relative to the Irish and the Welsh. All this was known thanks to a genetic study by Professor Dan Bradley of Trinity College in Dublin. In addition to that, a team from Oxford University has discovered that Celts, Britain's indigenous people, are descended from a tribe of Iberian fishermen who crossed the Bay of Biscay 6,000 years ago. The reason why I wanted to know the origin of the Basque country was because I saw a similarity with the Celtic regions of Europe, like the French Brittany, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Galicia in northern Spain, and now it seems that the Basque country as well. So, Vitoria State has something in common with capital cities as Amsterdam and Copenhagen and it is the fact that they like going around the city on bikes. You would not believe the amount of bikes that I've seen in this town. It's just like surreal. I've never seen so many bikes like in my life. I mean after visiting like the Netherlands I thought I was never gonna see like bikes like this amount of bikes like on the streets but here is like wow. I think that many people, if they came here to Victoria during the winter time, they would definitely have a heart attack. Because, you know, like when they think of Spain, they think of like this extremely boiling hot country. The first thing that comes to the brains is like, you know, the Sahara Desert or something like that. Uh, because like, yeah, I mean, I've heard such stupid things that you think like, oh my goodness, it's like, we have to be living all these years. It's like, so you come from a different planet, as to say that. In any case, well, it's not, okay? And so, guys, we've come to the walls of Victoria. This is where the walls are used to protect the city from invaders and things like that. Wow. This is like incredible, like you definitely need to come to Victoria State if you come to Spain because it's like so beautiful. You know, like when you come, Spain's not just like Benidorm or the Canary Islands or something like that. You can also enrich yourself with culture and such a beauty. So guys, I believe that we have come to one of the most important sites here in the city, which is the Cathedral of Santa Maria. And it is situated in the very core of the old town uh, the construction of this building began in the 13th century 
and it was like conceived in the 14th century so it took quite some time to to finish this lovely place and um yeah Victoria Gasteith Old Part, the first settlement in the city, still preserves its original almond shape medieval plan, which dates back to more than eight centuries ago, when Sancho VI the Wise founded the city. It's located on a hill dominated by the Cathedral of Santa Maria. So I think that I've come to one of my favorite spots here in the town. Now my hair is completely crazy, I know. But um, I don't know the name of this square, but this is like if you are like in a Saxon European country, you know, like because the style is just something that you would see like in like um, Scandinavia or Germany or something like that. This also reminds me of um, Chester, which is a town at the border in the north of England, at the border with um, Wales. And it's rather similar to this. You can see things like that there. And after my exhausting morning walk, I would like to get something tasty, typical from the area called puchero, which is basically something we would know generally as potaje throughout Spain. I'm going to drink this lovely Basque beer. And yeah, so this is going to be my lunch, guys. Lentils and different sorts of sausages. Bon appetit. So guys, it is 4 p.m. here in Victoria and I am on my way to the Museum of Fine Arts in uh, of Avila and um, it is situated in a very beautiful area of the city and something that really attracts my attention is the similarity of the building with the mansion that uh, there is in this series from uh, the UK down to Abbey and um, by the way, if you want to improve your English and if you want to speak like the Queen or even better, you definitely need to watch it because uh, almost everyone in this series they speak properly and um, they've got just like the finest British accent that you can think of. Now the entrance is just like magnificent. I really love it. And um, I love like all the buildings like surrounding the museum. So anyway, right now I need to go and see if I can get the ticket. Uh, we need to go to the office that is just down here. So guys, basically the entrance is free and um, you don't have to pay any money. And right now I'm going to go around the museum because it's rather big. And um, so the person at the office told me that there is like Basque art and um, you know, like more like general from Spain. And um, yeah, let's see what we can see here. Guys, if you have never heard about the Basque language, so this is what it's like. Can you understand anything there? I can't. So despite that this language is from the Iberian Peninsula where Spanish is the most spoken language, it is totally different. They've got nothing in common. So it's quite difficult for me to understand. I just can get like, I can pick like a few words. Like for example, Argentinian, that is like in English. Uh, then you've got um, Espanyatic, but probably has to do with something like with Spain. Uh, Santiago, <laughs> but that's all. So that is quite difficult. I would not be able to understand all this. The Fine Arts Museum of Alava is housed in the residence of the Count of Davila, constructed in the year 1912 by the architects Lucien and the Pride in the Renaissance Revival style. With regard both to the architecture and its internal and external ornamentation, 
In 1962, the building and collections were declared a monument of historical and artistic interest. The collections of the First Bath School, a movement that began in the 1850s, contain mainly examples of paintings dealing with the local customs and represent one of the most important collections of paintings of this kind in the country. What I really like about this museum is how beautiful the interior is. You can see that the stairs and the ceiling are made of wood, which is a very elegant touch from my point of view. Good morning. Uh, today is my last morning here in Victoria because I'm going to go to Burgers at 2 p.m. As you can see, it finally stopped raining, and I'm so happy because I was getting quite tired all this water. So this is going to be my last morning here in Victoria because at 2 p.m. I'm going to Burgos, which is like um, one of the northern capitals in Castile, and um, yeah, I'm quite happy. So I'm so glad uh, I'm going to see the city without the rain. I mean, I love, once again, I love the rain, but not when I'm walking in the rain. That's horrible. Anyway, so right now I'm going to go and grab breakfast because I'm quite hungry. Yesterday I had a very humble dinner. So... Say that to see all these spikes together makes me feel like if I am like in Northern Europe once again because this is something that you really don't see in Southern Europe. Uh, so that's why it's, it's giving me this like kind of like Copenhagen and um, Amsterdam vibes, you know? It's really nice. They are everywhere. Look at this, everyone. The sun finally decided to come out. This is the first time I see it after 48 hours, and I must admit. This city looks rather gorgeous and stunning with the sunshine. So guys, here I am in a terrassa. So basically a terrassa is like a when like the tables and the chairs are outside uh, in front of the bar however and uh, I'm going to have breakfast here in Plaza España which is like uh, Spain Square and um, I'm quite happy so this is like the best breakfast the best spot ever and um, yeah So guys, we've come to the end of this vlog. I just really would like to thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe and to give me a thumbs up. See you next time and wait for more because I'm going to be uploading new content very soon. So take care until next time, bye.